Gary and Mark producing this video in um, response to uh, your comments about my presentation about uh, cloud computing at the meeting the other day. Okay, I define cloud computing as my definition, as you see there, as data data processing and storage of remote and uh, uh, from a remote physical location. Important thing there is both data processing and storage. I think what both of you think is that cloud computing is only the storage part of it. It's also the processing part. Okay. I uh, so what before I move on, let's just check my definition and see what my definition is. Here's a, one definition. I've uh, heard some a couple of definitions of cloud computing. One is the practice of using network of remote services hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than a local server or personal computer. So notice it also says store, manage, and process data, not just store data, okay? The store and the management of data as well. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, cloud computing. Uh, whoop, there we go back here. Cloud computing on Wikipedia, right? Wikipedia say cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data, especially data storage. So they're saying more so storage storage and computing power, right? Especially data storage and computing power. All right. So um, that's what you've got to do is say if you disagree with that, you have to come up with your own definition of it. Now, the problem seems to be that uh, my examples, if I go back to my original thing, I gave some examples and said examples of cloud computing are email, web pages, search engines, Facebook, and data storage. Network. Let's go over one at a time. Email. Email is both the, the storage and processing of information, right? It has to process the information in that it has to get into a server and has to be get from, moved from a server from the uh, originator of the email to the receiver of the email. So there's processing involved there. Let's look at web, web pages, okay. Web, and then also it's definitely storage. The email is stored, even if it may be temporarily on the um, service, all right. Web pages, all web pages are stored on web servers, web servers unless it's within the same location, within a business, in which case it wouldn't be the internet. It'd be uh, an intranet, all right. Uh, but even intranets could still use cloud, still be part of cloud. So that's web pages. Search engines. When you do a search engine, where's the processing? What does the searching? The searching is done on a remote computer, not on the, on, on the person's computer. Same as Facebook. Everything's stored and processed on a remote computer, not on the person's computer. Now, I assume you agree with me in terms of what uh, data, data storage um, uh, and uh, in terms of Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Docs, etc. Uh, Mark pointed out Office 365, obviously, is a version of it that's both uh, cloud and a version of it's non cloud. Okay. Um, I also said at the meeting, though, that, uh, uh, that the web services that we use, uh, sorry, the, web, the meeting service that we use is actually cloud computing. And you seem to disagree with me in that respect. So I had a quick look at uh, cloud meetings, all right, and cloud conference platforms, connect and share files re remotely, Con conferencing platforms, Zoom cloud meetings. Notice they use the word cloud when they're talking about Zoom. So I couldn't find one for Cisco, uh, although I did find something with Cisco. Uh, the meeting we use Cisco WebEx, they call it WebEx, it's on the internet, right? Okay, so it's WebEx, Cisco, uh, uh, and where was the other one? Uh, Cisco Collaborative Meeting Rooms, CRM, cloud, right? They're talking about cloud when it comes to meetings. Okay. Gary then went on to say uh, that, uh, what was the other thing? That, um, my, uh, that what I was talking about was just, um, whoops, um, what I was talking about, um, was just networking. Uh, network, but I would say that networks are part of cloud computing, not the other way around. Cloud computing is not part of networks. So I think you, 
not getting your definitions right by unless unless you, you think there's a completely different different definition of what uh, cloud computing is. Saying, for example, that you said that a net, uh, this is just networking uh, um, uh, is just networking is like saying that the road network is the transport system, which is completely ignoring. Uh, no, it's not the transport. Is the uh, road? Yeah, the road network is the transport system. The transport system is more than just a node network. The road network is just the thing that carries the transport system. Just like uh, networking is just the thing that carries the traffic, which enables cloud computing. So that's why I think my definition of my examples of cloud computing all apply, including the one with the meetings, because the processing and the management of the data with uh, um, Google um, uh, by whatever system we're using is being done remotely, not by the person's individual computers. Okay, get back. So if you think that's any different, get back to me and tell me why you think I'm wrong. But as far as I'm concerned, all examples I gave are good examples of cloud computing. All right, that's basically it. Stop. I'm not on the wrong thing. How do I stop the recording? Well, I haven't stopped the recording. How do I stop the recording? <laughs>